Hello YouTube. Uh, this is a problem involving operations with radicals uh, and it did not come out right the first time so I thought I would go ahead and put it online and have uh, a correct answer uh, without taking up too much time. So let's go ahead and get started. We're asked to find the exact value of x in simple radical form and then round x to the nearest tenth. Now if we find the exact value of x we can fairly easily with a calculator round x to the next tenth. We could also get approximations for this numerator and denominator for this quotient and then for this denominator and then we could we could round x to the nearest tenth without finding the ex exact value of x. Um, what would be the benefits of doing that? Well maybe you have a partial credit and maybe you have a multiple choice test and you can get that that evaluation, that approximation, and then match it to an answer choice. So it may be worth doing even if you're not sure how to uh, solve the radicals. But what we're going to do is I'm going to rewrite this just a little smaller. I'm going to leave some space. And I'm going to rationalize this denominator so that I don't have a radical in the denominator. Um, for the time being. So what I'm going to do is multiply by a form of 1. Right, we have to multiply by a form of 1 or else we change the value of the expression or the equation. And what I choose is the conjugate pair of the denominator, which is 2 plus the square root of 2, top and bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses here just to make sure we know we're multiplying the quantities. So this numerator will be 4. The outside will be 2 root 2. The inside will be 2 root 2, so this is plus 4 root 2. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, so we're going to go ahead and add that. Now on the bottom, we picked this because the inside, negative 2 root 2, will uh, cancel out with the outside, which is positive 2 root 2. So what we get is 2 times 2 minus square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which is 2. Go ahead, rewrite this. It may seem tedious to keep writing the right hand of the equation, but that's how we know the last good line in a problem, where if we make a mistake, we don't have to start from the beginning. So it will, it will in the long run, uh, save you time. Uh, so that's why we do it. 4 plus 2 is 6. This is 6 plus 4 root 2 over 2. I'm going to do that again. 3 plus the square root of 10. Go ahead and divide by 2. This is 3 plus 2 root 2 x over 3 plus the square root of 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply uh, both sides by this denominator. So you know what, I'll just sh I'll show that here. 3 plus the square root of 10. 3 plus the square root of 10. So they'll cancel here. Now I'm going to go ahead. Now I have x on the right, which is nice. 3 times 3 is 9 outside. 3 times 2 root 2 is plus 6 times the square root of 2. Inside is plus 3 times the square root of 10. And then last times last, 2 square root of 10 times 2, or 20, which is x. And we are almost done here. What's going to happen, I'm, you know, I'm just going to do it this way. This is 2 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. So the square root of 4 is 2 times 2 is 4 root 5. So this will be 9 plus 6 root 2 plus 3 root 10 plus 4 root 5 equals x. Now hopefully we can see that at the bottom of the page. So this is simple radical form, although it doesn't look terribly simple. Uh, the, these, although I cannot factor out perfect squares. Alright, so to, to round to the nearest tenth, all I'm going to do is I'm going to punch this into the calculator and I can do this uh, sort of at one line. Alright, so here we go. 9 plus 6 root 2 plus 3 root 10 plus 4 root 5 and that's approximately x 
that the wavy equal is, a, is approximately equal to. So then there's 10th, it reads 35.916, which is 35.9. Okay, so that's how we solve the equation, and that's how we do the approximation. I wanted to show you, without taking up too much time, how we could get the second half of this problem without doing the first half. And all I'll do is I'm going to put, this is just a parentheses, 2 plus the square root of 2 divided by 2 minus the square root of 2. So now I'll get an approximation and I'll round it a few more spaces. I don't, you don't have to go crazy and go to the you know, 20th spaces, but 2, 8, 4. That should do it. This is x over, and I'll do 3 plus the square root of 10, and that's 6.1623. Now, I'll go ahead and leave that in the calculator, which I've set to round to, I don't know, 10 places, just because it saves me a step, times 5.8284, and it'll give me... Uh, 35.9162 and so on, which is still 35.9. Okay, so this is um, a simple radical form, and this is solving equations with radicals, and basically we solve it by, in this case, um, when, I, when I see this sort of conjugate pair, I'm going to go ahead and do that first rather than uh, cross multiply which would be an alternate solution. Uh, and, and if somebody asks, uh, I'll go ahead and provide that too. Okay, I uh, hope this helped, and thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time.